The Institute of Molecular Functional Materials has been identified as an area of excellence by the University Grants Committee, the UGC, which is a funding organization in Hong Kong. At the Institute, we focus on addressing energy challenges as well as energy-related issues by integrating synthetic chemistry, material chemistry with device physics and engineering. This is actually a multi-institutional and interdisciplinary effort built upon our existing strengths in synthetic chemistry amongst five different institutions led by the University of Hong Kong. Our institute is a great place to work because the institute has people with different background and expertise. Here at the institute, we focus on addressing energy challenges as well as energy-related issues by bringing together synthetic chemistry and material chemistry with device physics and engineering. We are particularly interested in molecular materials with photofunctional properties, as well as those with catalysis and energy functions. My team actually also work a lot on phosphorescent OLEDs, particularly those that are based on gold complexes. So if we can make the three primary colors, the red, the green, and the blue, then we can make full color flat panel displays, or we can mix them to generate white light, or alternatively, we can also mix the yellow and the blue light to give you white light for solid state lighting. My group has discovered an uh, opposite effect called aggregation induced emission, in which non emissive molecules become highly emissive in the aggregate or, or solid state. Our research on uh, aggregation induced emission offers a platform for people to address the energy challenge faced by the society. Our research in catalysis involves the use of solar energy to carry out the splitting of water and the reduction of carbon dioxide. The Institute of Molecular Functional Materials have provided strong support for my research both in terms of the resources and the expertise provided. In order to be economically viable, the catalysts used for the production of various renewable fuels should be made from earth abundant materials. My research in platinum uh, triple emitters is to design and synthesize structurally robust uh, platinum 2 compounds. The significance of this research is that the platinum 2 compounds have planar coordinate geometries, fundamentally different from other metal triple emitters that have been well studied in the literature and we have octahedral geometries. My work in metal containing polymer is mainly focused on the development of some uh, conjugated system with transition metals in, incorporated into the metal backbones. The major challenges mainly focus on two issues. One is on the efficiency and the other is on the lifetime, the stability of the device. As we know, actually, the efficiency of light emitting tiles or the organic solar cells are need to be very high in order to have a more efficient devices for production or conservation. The Institute of Molecular Functional Materials actually provide a very good platform for achieving this goal by providing more resources and also a very good interdisciplinary type of efforts to collaborate with different collaborators including physicists, engineers, which are very important elements to make the project a success. Materials get actually consist of a large assembly of molecules. So how the materials properties would show actually depends on how the molecules pack themselves, how they align themselves. So if we can really have an understanding of it and how we can control and manipulate these intermolecular forces, then one will be able to sort of manipulate the properties like charge transport properties, luminescent properties, colors, uh, as well as uh, morphologies. One of the key issues about you know, this type of research is how to govern how these molecules stack together. It is mainly the stacking that produces the desired uh, properties that we would like to have. At this moment, it is rather difficult to predict how these molecules behave. I think this is basically the major challenges that we are facing at this moment. Working in this institute allow us all the chemists of different disciplines setting together. New areas are actually being developed because we have different expertise coming together working in very new problems. And I think uh, because of this, you know, this institute can create a lot of new uh, novel functional materials in the future. We often get together to discuss, to have information exchange, which promote research collaboration among different universities in Hong Kong. The Institute 
will be able to create or generate social economic impact uh, as well as uh, through the uh, creation of innovative materials as well as new opportunities for the betterment of mankind and the community. Thank you.